Hello there and welcome to this Unity tutorial. Today we will be talking about how to make a meteor that will burn. Um, and that's actually really easy. We will be using particle systems and you'll get to see how particle system works. So let's get started about that. Um, I have four folders here. One called imports. These are uh, because we don't want a meteor in daylight. We want it in night just to make it look nice so if you go to window here lightning you'll see a thing called skybox here and the skybox in unity is basically the background it contains I think it's eight images um, one but no it's six images you know like a dice uh, where you are inside the dice and then you look at the sides uh, so this is actually six images uh, placed so it looks seamless. It's pretty smart. So I'll select the skybox that I want and I want this one. This is free, you can use it by yourself in this package here called Sky5x1. Uh, uh, really great. Just use it if you want. So we've got the skybox here. Now we need to find a model. So let's go ahead and find a meta over here. Drag into models and you see it creates a default material here let's just delete that one, we'll make our own uh, so yeah, this is our comet so far our uh, meteor here uh, we need to give it a material so we'll create a new material uh, meteor meteor and we need to assign a texture to it so let's go ahead and find that game development um, textures space meteor like that so in the material here you just drag the texture to this one like that and if you go to the meteor again uh, and you see in the mesh render there will be this uh, small material here the, this uh, pane here you can select the material so we select the meteor material and you see right now it is a bit shiny and we don't want it to be like that or at least I don't want it to be like that so we'll go to the material here and we put the smoothness down you see there's the shininess here it goes away when I put the smoothness down so we want it just like that so now we got the meteor working let's go ahead and make a particle system so we can make things fancy so in the meteor add a particle system and you'll see it will start uh, sending out these particles here these are all the options f uh, for the particle system uh, the duration, the start lifetime and start speed we don't want any start speed, we want it to be zero and we also want the shape to be exactly like that a cone and a an very important thing here is the simulation space, it needs to be set to the world because if I did not set it to the world, then the particles would stick with the meter. I can show you that. See, if I select local, they will just be inside it all the time. So we need to create them in the world. Like that. And we want the size of the particles to be between 2 and 3. So we see here, start size. You will click this arrow over here and say random between 2 constants. And we say random between 2 and 3 and we get a bit better looking particles here so if you go ahead to emission you will be able to control how many particles there will be at different times uh, we don't use timers here, we just said say that we want 200 particles that might sound a bit uh, of a lot and you shouldn't use so many particles if your game is supposed to run uh, on mobile devices and such um, but in this case we can do it. You see we get this nice uh, smoke effect here and uh, what we want is the, the color of this to change also we don't want it to fade out like that that looks a bit weird. We want it to fade out a bit more smooth so we say here the start color needs to be like blue because that's how fire looks when it really burns <laughs> So. 
uh, you see we want the one called color over lifetime here check that one and I click it here you will get this nice window open here gradient editor uh, and you see here we want it to in the beginning be light blue this is the start and this is the end and you can rearrange them or, or create new ones just by clicking deleting them just simply by dragging them out of the system here so uh, the color is at the bottom and the transparency is at the top so in the end we want it to be zero in transparency so it fades out we can just have a quick test see it fades out after some time just like we want it to so I'll put an alpha here to set 200 at, at this point 255 and we want it to kind of become orange like there and first we want it to be red like that then it's orange for a while and then it becomes white in the end and then it fades out so let's just see how that looks you see the curve will be down here that looks pretty great I think the start color needs to be set to white yeah it does see there we go that's particles so and also it fades out smoothly so we've got the particle system working you can play around with this to make it look a lot better but I hope you got the basic concept anyways so let's reset the position zero 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 um, so we we can have something to work with here and we have a camera here so we put it a bit away from the camera like that can we still see it yeah it needs to be a bit more off like that I think so if I move it in here now will we then see the line oh yeah we will but I think the camera needs to be rotated a little bit just to make it a bit cooler here so also we need to put it a bit down yeah play around with these things they are not that important uh, maybe a bit rotated too much like like that that might be good so yeah we need to make the meteor move across the sky and as you see here if I drag this arrow we will increase the X position uh, you'll see over here when I drag it here the X position will increase and we wanted to move this this way here uh, so we, we just make a new script called move X which is basically just a script that moves the X axis of the, the comet the meteor here so we'll set up a public float for the speed and in update here we simply just use transform dot translate uh, in a new vector tree where this is the speed and there is nothing on the other axis so the x axis will be the x axis will be moved with the speed and the other axes will just stand still. We also need to multiply this by time dot delta time. Yes, like that. So you see here we get this option. Don't we? Oh, did we forget to say we need to save it? There we go. We get this option down here. Uh, let's set the speed to about twenty and let's play the game and see what we've got here. See, there is this nice measure. I think we need to get it a bit more distant from the camera. It would be nice if the camera looked a bit more up. Also, this guy gets a bit more up. And a bit more distant. Like that. Let's see how that looks. Oh, like that. And also, the speed needs to be a bit greater. So, like 35. I think that will do it. Yeah, so we have this comet moving along the heaven and the particles are there uh, you can play around with this so we set this to 15 or do whatever you want with this uh, so that it looks great and you are satisfied satisfied with uh, what you're doing so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you would like more tutorials 
be sure to visit uh, my website. There's a link in the description. Also, the source code of this project and uh, this, this, uh, the assets, the models, the textures, and everything will be uploaded. There's a link in the description or below this video if you are at my website. So, thanks for for watching.